Hello, everyone. Welcome to News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. I'm your host, Roger Colton. I have with me today Franklin Tucker, the editor and publisher of the Belmontonian, Belmont's online source for hyperlocal news. Franklin, Belmont is moving back toward a fully open school. Can you bring us up to date? Well, it's going to be the elementary schools. The four elementary schools will uh, have just received their recommendations from uh, uh, from the school district and uh, its working group, uh, which is the return to in-person learning working group, which pretty much tells you what they do. <laughs> They've come out with their recommendations for uh, the elementary school uh, students. It'll be happening on uh, April 5th, which is a Monday, the day before town election. Uh, and what will happen is basically the kids are going to go back to school as as a as if it was just a, a, a normal year. Um, you know, they're going to be there five days a week, um, uh, just like their pre-COVID uh, schedule. They're going to be offered everything from the academics to uh, specials, which, of course, is music and PE and things like that. They're going to have even lunch and snack breaks. Um, and also, uh, the, uh, anybody, any child that needs specialized instruction for disabilities or for English learners, uh, that will be in, in the schools also. And there'll be bus transportation. Now, the one caveat to that is there's going to be social distancing. There's going to be mask wearing. There's going to be quarantine requirements if, if a child uh, is, has COVID-19 um, is, is tested for COVID-19 and they are positive, they're going to have to go through um, those quarantine requirements from the CDC and, 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 what, and what the uh, Department of Elementary and Secondary Education have, have said. And that is, if you were within uh, uh, six feet of somebody over a 15 minute period of time, you'll have to quarantine also. So that could be uh, an iffy thing, but you know, kids, but um, uh, it, it, it now is that uh, at least for the kindergarten in fourth grade, they're going to be back in school um, uh, within three weeks. And what there will not be is there will not be regular testing, isn't it? No, that's right? good. That's right. It, it's now being done in the high school and, for, and during the hybrid system. And that's uh, being done uh, quite, uh, uh, I believe it's like uh, 200 tests per week. Um, it's, uh, it is, it is, it was part of a uh, Desi, uh, Desi saying, you know, the, the, and the state saying we can provide this and, and the school system said, okay, we'll do it. And that should be also really good, um, uh, really good in terms of, of finding, uh, those, those, those in, uh, asymptomatic cases of COVID-19. And then you can start quarant quarantining kids or, or staff who, who, re who receive a positive, uh, uh rating. So you talk about uh, DESI, uh, which is the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education, the state agency. What role does the state's directives have in having this decision made in Belmont? And what, uh, how much of it is the fact that Belmont really believes that it's time to go back to school? Well, yeah, I, I think everybody believes it's time to go back to school. It's just how you do it. And now, um, uh, Desi, of course, uh, they they have the 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 right uh, under emergency pr uh, uh, pr protocol to to tell uh, school districts around the state, you know, this certain things that they have to do, and this is one of them. Um, the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, board of Desi um, uh, voted, uh, uh, I think it was now two weeks ago, that allowed the um, uh, commissioner, uh, Mr. Riley, who is from who is a Belmont High School graduate. I might add um, that he can um, that he can uh, demand literally demand the, the, the schools open at a certain time by taking away the hybrid uh, option for from the schools. Um, now this has caused uh, uh, you know a number of uh, of uh, organizations to feel that Desi has uh, has overstepped their their bounds basically, um, but uh, you know they're going to follow the rules as they come by. And uh, so when Desi says something and um, makes this rule, you know, the Belmont will have to follow that. Uh, Desi has also now stated that uh, middle school students will have to be in school by April 28th. And, um, and that's what uh, 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 Superintendent Phelan is doing right now. He's going back to the working group and saying, let's switch our, let's switch over to, uh, let's switch over and look at the middle school. How is that gonna be? How, how, how are we gonna do that? Do we have spacing issues? I mean, one of the things that uh, you'll be seeing at uh, the elementary schools and probably at the uh, 
at the middle school is um, uh, wedding tents, you know, those big white wedding tents. And that's where kids are going to be uh, having, um, you know, lunch and, uh, <laughs> and snacks. Uh, uh, and uh, they're also buying individual seats for, uh, for lunchtime, you know, so they're going to have that separation. You know, they're going to be in school, but they're going to be separate as much as they can. Belmont is facing a, a contested race for the school committee. Have we heard from school committee candidates uh, uh, any reactions to the, the state directive and to the local response? Sure. In, in fact, it was a very, uh, it was a very interesting, uh, um, uh, well, it was a very interesting, a uh, very interesting incident that happened at the school committee meeting. Um, uh, Mike Crowley, who was a member of the school committee, um, I think expressed a, a, an opinion that a, a lot of, of members of the school committee and not just the school committee in Bellum, school committees all across the state, uh, who stated that um, they feel that, um, you know, uh, what 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 Desi was doing is usurping the the control of um, of uh, of the local school committees to do um, openings on what they believe is is the safest and, and most proper course for their communities. You know, Desi's basically saying this is a one t- the one you know uh, one solution fits all. You know, Belmont along with all these other uh, communities are saying no, it's not, and uh, he used the word usurp. Now, uh, one of the uh, major candidates, um, you know, you, just by looking at the signs in, in, on lawns in, in the town, is Jamal Saha, uh, and um, Sahe, I should say, um, and um, you know, his his um, candidacy has been fueled by a growing populism in in the town of Belmont uh, to to basically open schools now. Now, uh, what he said to, um, he basically responded to Mike uh, at the school committee meeting by saying, when I hear a school committee member saying that Desi usurped the authority of the school committee, I feel compelled to amplify the voice of those parents' opinion that the school committee is not the mandate of the community. The, if, you're, if you've been elected to the school committee, that is, you, you've been given the mandate by the community. You know, I think maybe he kind of, um, uh, you know, I think it was an offhand remark. Um, uh, you know, he just basically was just just making a, a statement to, to say that, you know, maybe the school committee doesn't respond, isn't what the majority is. And I think that's what he meant. Uh, um, because, uh, you know, if, if, if you don't go into the school committee believing that you have a mandate, then then what do you have? You know, so so it's it was, a, it was a really interesting remark from a leading candidate. You know, does he believe that Desi uh, is the uh, be all and end all? Or is it, um, you know, how do we run the schools? Do we run it by, by uh, the school committee, which, you know, which the state certainly, you know, they say if you win an election and, you know, you run, you run the school committee. They give them a lot of leeway for budgets and, and hiring. So uh, if, if you don't believe the uh, school committee has a mandate, well, then you can wait till the election, the next election, and vote people in who you believe have them, who, who will, who will, you know, believe in what you believe in. You just don't say that the school committee doesn't have a mandate. That just says, you know, what is it? Are we up to mob rule? You know. So it was a very interesting um, um, uh, comment. Does the Desi directions to local uh, school committees, local jurisdictions, uh, uh, leave room for flexibility? Oh, it certainly does. It certainly does. I mean, you know, they're basically saying you have to open it at this time. Now, how you open it, that's up to what the school committee and uh, the uh, school district, uh, it, that's their that's their responsibility. And right now, this is what um, uh, Superintendent Phelan is saying. We're going to do it our way. We're not going to do it, you know, by people who, who are who are giving us information from, from the public, you know, one of the, one of the big issues that um, we're seeing with the, with these populist candidates is that they're saying we can open the school now. And then, you know, and they have their, their uh, ish, they have their um, uh, uh, scientific, um, let's say uh, uh, statements that say that, Oh, we have enough room and, you know, six feet is too much. And, you know, we can do it with three feet. Well, Dr. Phelan is saying, well, we'll decide and we'll use information from parents, but also from other uh, from other sources, and we'll do it through our working group. And uh, 
that's where the, that's where the, you have the, uh, the schools, each individual school district having the ability to really uh, make this uh, work. That's great. Thanks for bringing us up today. We've been speaking with Franklin Tucker, the editor and publisher of The Belmontonian, Belmont's online source for hyperlocal news. You've been watching News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, Roger Colton. I'll talk with you again next time.